Hey y'all, it's me, Laura Burns, and I am excited to do another In the Dressing Room, and this time we're gonna do Avenue, and I have not shopped in Avenue in a really long time, and I thought we would do something a little different. This time, you can see, here I am at the Avenue website. So, because I haven't seen anything at Avenue in such a long time, I thought it might be fun to go to the website and just see what they have, like poke around, um, I'm sure a lot of you, like me, look at um, these clothing websites all the time, um, you know, like window shopping, deciding what do you like, what do you not like, does it make you want to go into the store if that is available to you where you live, um, or if they even have stores in person. So let's jump into it. Let's just look. I just pulled this um, website up and I haven't uh, moused around at all. <laughs> I was saving it all for you. So let's check it out. Um, so here on their main screen, what they're pushing is the new spring must-haves. So I'm seeing a kimono, some stripy pants. This looks like another kind of kimono thing here. And um, some like springy colors. Spring catalog has arrived. We could view the catalog. Let's see. The deals. Spring dress is 45. So Avenue to me, in my mind, has like the reputation that I think that it has is like sometimes the stuff is kind of frumpy um, and sometimes it's cute. It's more hit or miss to me than um, Torrid. It's about the like, it's a little more frumpy than Lane Bryant to me, <laughs> but not always. Um, but you know, you have like Catherine's, which to me is most often like not trendy. It's more like, um, looser shapes like it's just not I don't know to me a lot of that stuff looks frumpy although I have purchased things from Catherine's before so you know oh look here's like real people wearing the clothes and I think it's also about how you style things um so you can style it to look more fun and new and fresh okay so normally when I shop I go to what's new so new arrivals actually let's just do their thing let's look at um spring must-haves so tell me in the comments if you like this like online window shopping <laughs> kind of thing. Um, I, you know, like to window shop online. I'll even put stuff in my cart and then, you know, I just don't check out. I, you know, remove everything. Let's see. This is cute. Um, I like how breezy this is. I don't like sleeves when it's hot because, you know, obviously hot arms. So buy one, get one half off is what they're pushing here. I don't love these asymmetrical hems. I like the tie-dye details here, but I don't like how like pastel-y it is and then how like white it is down there. No, maybe. Can you see my mouse? I'm just like pointing to things. I like that there's a lot of tie-dye going on. Um, so we're seeing a lot of these like strappy crosses, cold shoulder. Um, so like just this print makes this look a little frumpy to me. This just seems a little like early 90s Lane Bryant. And you are welcome to disagree with me. That's fine. They're doing a lot of this like rounded shirt tail hem. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, let's see. Yeah, and some of these things might look cuter, you know, on a fatter body. All these models are pretty small. This is apparently like a big thing. All of this stuff is very sleeved. I'm noticing there's a lot of sleeves happening, not a lot of sleeveless. So that, I don't know, is that like an Avenue thing? If you guys shop at Avenue more often, tell me. Um, everything has sleeves! Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is the store for me. <laughs> I hate sleeves. I don't like this situation here at all, this like poncho. Mm -mm. <sighs> this one has potential with the embroidering up here. I do like that. And the sleeves are shorter. I do like all the cold shoulders that I'm seeing. Everything has sleeves. Oh, here's one thing. Nothing is really exciting to me. Nothing is sticking out. Maybe the dresses are cuter. So bell sleeves, that's really trendy right now. I like this. I like this, stri this striped tunic. I would wear that. I like this, this tropical lace zipper top. Let's look at that more closely. <laughs> oh, it comes in this other print. I like that tropical. That's cute. Oh, and there's lace at the top. The other one had that too. 
a lot of tops. This is like a lot of tops. A lot of this asymmetrical hem, different ways to have straps at the neckline, cage neck, floral shark bite. Goodness. So it seems like sleeves, tunic length. I like this one, this fringe trim. That's cute. I don't like this color. Why are they making it in brown? It's like spring and summer. See, I like this print, this blue and pink. That's pretty. Oh, here we go. Sleeveless, sleeveless floral swing tank. So good. They put two pictures of it right next to each other. This is interesting. Twist knot long tank. I would try that on. I would try this. Y'all know I love a black floral. All right, we're getting into sleeveless now. I think I was just in that section. You're probably screaming at me. Ooh, hello. That's cute. All right. Oh, back to sleeves. This looks like that same shirt, but in a solid black. I think it looks cuter in the print. Ooh, I like this tie-dye business. If they have that in the store, I might have to buy it <laughs> if it looks cute. Because I can teach yoga in that. I can do yoga in that. That's like my question is, could I do yoga in this outfit? Most of my clothes, I can say yes to that. All right, where are the bottoms? This is like boring. I like this dot. I'm a sucker for polka dots and stripes. Do they not have any bottoms? New for spring, only tops. Yeah, or dresses with the H. Oh, this is cute. Look, the um, pocket is a floral patch. All right, I'm just like, Moving this thing. Oh, okay, this is too much. I can't keep looking like this. Let's look at bottoms. Let's look at shorts because I've been really into looking for shorts recently. So we're going to go by category now. Oh, and we're going to start by looking at the tabs. Here's that top. So it comes into their extended sizes. Now, I think that they don't carry the 3032 at the store though. This is interesting. This might be cute on. It also might not be. You know, sometimes you think something's going to be cute. Is it stretchy? It's stretchy. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at the back. That's cute. Okay, I like this. I hope they have this at the store when I go. $49. Buy one, get one, half off. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, this top is so cute. What does the back look like? Solid polka dots. So this is like crochet on top of a tank top. I'm guessing it's stretchy, yeah. Polyester spandex, approximately 29 and a half inches long. That's a reasonable length. All right, oh, the other color is black. Well, that's not as fun. I was hoping for some brighter colors. Okay, close this. What do we got? Shorts. These are all pull on. So it's like elastic waist. Solid skort. Oh no. I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe I oh, should look under jeans. Oh, here we go. Jean shorts. All right. This might be better. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Denim Bermuda short, which is the style that I like because it fits close to the leg so you don't get the riding up. Ooh, I like these um, super dark. I'm looking for black jean shorts, actually. <gasps> Ooh, hey. I've never had, I had a pair of jeggings from Avenue one time. What's the difference? Denim, stop showing me that. Size 28, oh my God, that's my size. But I don't wanna just order these if I'm gonna go there. Okay, nine inch inseam. What is this then that I saw? Knee length. Well, how long is knee length? My knee length is different from a lot of people's knee length. Here's the ones that are longer, or I mean bigger. What's the inseam? 11, oh no. <laughs> Those would be like clam diggers on me. Okay, nine inch for me is knee length because my legs are short. Okay, if they have these in store and they look good, I'm gonna buy them. All right, I feel like I have 
a pretty good idea of what they have. Who knows what they'll have at the store, but I feel a little excited now, especially about those black denim shorts and some of these, um, those tank tops that I saw, and then maybe some of these dresses. So, all right, let's go to the actual store. Here I am in the outfit that I arrived in, feeling pretty cute, just excited to be trying on clothes. And unfortunately, I did not find a ton of things that I wanted to try on. I'll talk more about that later. Here's the first thing. This is actually a light pink dress with black roses on it. It looks white here, but it is a baby pink. I did not love this. It's kind of see-through. You could see my bra and the bike shorts that I had on um, pretty clearly through it. It is nice and stretchy though, and I did like this texture of the material. I thought that that was a nice touch. It gave it a little more interest. Um, it's, you know, a fit and flare style. It's just tight on me, um, but at least it has this swingy skirt, and I always like that. This next outfit, um, I actually really liked a lot. I thought it was pretty cute. I loved this floral hoodie um, and the brass zipper, the brass detail. I saw this on the website and thought it was so cute. But, um, you know, Houston in the summer, even this very thin hoodie, like, I'm never going to put this on. It's so cute, though. And underneath, I have this black tank top with white dots. It's just a simple, um, you know, stretchy tank top. Um, but I don't have anything like this, and I think this will be good for mixing up some of my pieces. These black denim shorts are just a little tight in the waist. They only have to size 26 in the store, and um, I just needed uh, one more size here, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to try on a 28 in the store. It's such a bummer. Um, I would probably cut these off and let them fray or cuff them to make them a little shorter. I'm back at home and I did buy something very exciting so I bought three items oh sorry for the noises and um, here's the deal I just want to talk about my experience at Avenue because it was a little weird um, I drove down there and I realized I'd never seen this place before. There's not an avenue near my house, so I had to drive like 30 minutes to get to this one. And um, I went inside and there was nobody working there that I could see. There were no other customers in the store. Um, the employees, um, there were two of them there. They were in the back. Actually, there was only one there when I got there. She was in the back storeroom because they just had a delivery, which I know about because they both complained about their big delivery that they got. Like the entire time that I was talking to them it was very weird and uncomfortable for me because I was like, sorry that you have to do your job. Like anyway. Okay. So, um, there was nobody there, no customers, no employees. And I was just like walking around and, um, the clothes, a lot of the clothes just do not appeal to me. A lot of the clothes are not appropriate for my lifestyle because a lot of their stuff seems like workwear. Um, and I just don't need like clothes to wear to the office, right? And so I immediately found the black denim shorts. They were like right in front. It's like the first thing I saw. So I had those on my arm. I was walking around looking for tops to try on with them. And, um, I did find that hoodie that I tried on, the tank top that I tried on pretty quickly. And then I was just walking around, I was like looking for stuff to try on to have, you know, in this video for you. And um, I didn't see any of those cute tops that I liked when I was looking online. I didn't see any of them in the store. I did like three circles around the store, like looking for these things. I didn't like most of the dresses that they had. Um, they weren't my style. I didn't like the material or the print. Um, the activewear did not look particularly well made, like it was going to hold up. So I didn't bother trying it on just because like, I know what well-made activewear looks like. And I know the places where they tend to have seam split or unravel or have a lot of stress and the material or the stitching fails. And I look at all those things when I go to buy a piece of activewear. And I could tell, like, this stuff is not going to hold up over the long term. The quality of the fabric wasn't good. The stitching wasn't great. Um, so I just didn't bother with that. Um, they didn't have any other black shorts, just the one pair, which is fine. Um, I'm trying to think. 
this was yesterday so it's a whole new day today um and I have a terrible memory but I'm doing my best anyway it was just I could tell like this is not the store for me I just wasn't attracted to a lot of the clothes there and that's just a personal style thing um I looked around even in the work clothes thinking maybe I'll just try something on for fun um I just didn't love the materials it was a lot of that um, stretchy poly spandex stuff that feels um, very unnatural and I tend to like stuff that feels a little more natural fibery even if it's like polyester <laughs> um, they sometimes will make polyester and it feels a little more like um, like a silk type material or even like a rayon and um, they had other black shorts in their office wear section but it was like this weird stretchy suiting that like was real crunchy sounding when it touched each other and I'm like I would walk and my thighs would rub and it would be like <laughs> so I wasn't into that um I looked through their clearance section didn't really see anything I loved that I wanted to get because it was like too warm um I did see a couple cute things there um I looked at their underwear and um I bought Avenue underwear once before and it did fall apart I did look at their shoes. They actually had some cute wide fit shoes that I was a little interested in, but the stock was so disorganized that nothing that the shoe displayed on top did not match the shoes that were in boxes underneath. So I got too frustrated. This store was kind of a mess. Um, by the time I made like three cycles or circles of the store, the second employee had arrived and she was having a day. Um, she had had a flat tire. The fact that I know all of this is part of the reason why I did not enjoy my visit. She had had a flat tire and she had to wait for this and they tried to scam her and all this stuff happened and it's delivery day and they have all these boxes and she doesn't feel like unpacking them and this one and she has to go to the bathroom and blah 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 and I'm like can I get a dressing room? So I got a dressing room and um, you know tried my stuff on that was fine when I came out the one who was all in a fluster <laughs> um was uh the one at the checkout counter and so um as you saw in the video the shorts were a little tight so i wanted the 28 they don't have size 28 in store which is super annoying but not uncommon and so i said hey can you order me the size 28 in these shorts and something a process that it should have taken to be generous 10 minutes for her to order those shorts for me um and not even including checking out the other items that I bought but just ordering the shorts literally took 20 minutes because she would do a little thing and then stop and like chat to me about things that are not related to this like just about life and about her day and how flustered she was um during the course of our interaction she called me oriental to which I said that's not a very nice word you should say Asian instead and she was um she took the comment very well. She wasn't like offended that I would correct her. She was, um, and she was in fact like, I'm so sorry, you know, I didn't know that that word was not okay. And I said, that's fine. Um, but the fact that I had to like say that to her, like just what a weird interaction. And so it just took so long and um, it just was, it was not efficient. <laughs> um, she just was chatting to me about her whole life. Like I know way too much about her life now, about her family and her son and her truck and um, this other time when she broke down and she thought she was gonna get robbed. Like, lady, just order me the shorts. Like, please, I cannot handle this. Anyway, it took a really long time and then I was able to check out and buy these other items here in store. So um, all of that is to say, that I did not love my experience at Avenue. Um, most of that was just the people who happened to work there on that day. This is not a you know a re review of every Avenue everywhere. <clears throat> but I don't think that it's the store for me in general because um, the clothes just didn't speak to me. I found a few things that I was interested in, but nothing that I probably couldn't get somewhere else. And then on top of it, like, whoa, dude, this lady was bananas um and also both of them spent the whole time complaining about having to move boxes and unpack and all this stuff and here's the thing i get it that doesn't sound super fun but i'm your customer i don't need all of that put on to me because the way they said it like 
and over and over and over again, it made me feel bad. Like, I'm sorry that you have to do this. So, you know, and I did ask questions about, you know, do you have any other sizes in this? Do you have any other sizes in this? And she just kept saying, well, we have all these boxes to unpack. So I don't know the answer to that, you know? And I'm like, okay, I got it. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop asking questions. Um, and maybe it was just a bad day, a perfect storm, but you know, you shouldn't treat your customers like that. You shouldn't make me feel bad for wanting to buy more items. <laughs> um, anyway, so what I ended up getting was the black tank top and then just a plain white tank top. It's the same style. It's just in a color because I don't own a white anything. And you guys keep telling me to style things with a white shirt or a white tank. And I'm like, I don't have that. <laughs> and then I got the polka dot, same thing, just for um, styling stuff. And um, I think both of these could be worn with that kimono, the pink floral print kimono. So I'm trying to get things that would also go with that. So all I bought was these two tank tops. They were both on sale um, for $13 or $15. So I spent $30 on these tank tops, which, you know, whatever, that's fine. That seems normal to me. I did buy those shorts with her and they came out to like $50, I think, um, with the shipping to come to my house. I could have had them shipped to the store for free, but I don't wanna go back there and it's far away. And so I'd rather just pay the $5 to have them shipped directly to me. Um, so I don't have to go anywhere. Um, whew, after I left, I noticed that there was a Nordstrom rack next door. So I did go in there. I tried on a few things, but I didn't love them. It wasn't that exciting. They don't have a ton in the larger plus sizes and they stop at 3X. So um, I'm not including that in this video. One day I will make a Nordstrom rack video, um, but it's just not that exciting to me. However, I did buy a Nordstrom rack these super cute pink suede vans. Look how cute they are. Yay, they're so adorable. And I think they're gonna be really good for summer. Um, just, you know, cause they're this light, pretty color. And I don't have anything like that. And I am trying to buy more shoes because I basically wear one of two pairs or one of three pairs of Birkenstock sandals every day of my life. And if you have seen more of my videos, you know I did buy those burgundy velvet sneakers that looked you know similar to these um but in burgundy velvet from torrid this winter and i loved them um but it's not super summer wear they're a little warm um and i mean i still will probably wear them at some point over the summer but uh you know they're a darker color they're a little warmer and then i bought from torrid also these black ones but they're big and so I haven't yet figured out like if I can get insoles in them to maybe make them feel a little smaller and make them fit better. I have to figure that out or I'm just gonna sell them <laughs> and let somebody else enjoy them because they actually fit them. But anyway, so I don't have anything like ooh, these guys and um, they fit me in the width, which is amazing because I have really wide feet. These are a size 10 women's and I don't actually wear a 10, but I keep having to buy shoes in a 10. Um, those burgundy velvet ones are a 10 and these are these are probably a half size too big um but i'm willing to deal with it because they fit the width of my feet and the um height of my feet i got big feet um all around not necessarily long but anyway so i'm excited about those pink vans i'm excited about my tank tops i am not super excited about this trip to avenue i don't think that i'll be going back for another long period of time um maybe in the winter to check out their winter clothes when they come in. Um, but it was just not a great trip. So I don't know, like, do you shop at Avenue? Do you have good experiences there? Was this a fluke? Should I like not be a baby about it and try them again? You tell me in the comments, what do you think of Avenue? How have your experiences been there? <laughs> um, yeah. So, I mean, I'm glad that I did it because now I know it was an interesting adventure. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff from me. And have a great day. Bye.